Assalamu alaikum dear students in today's video we are going to draw the structure formula of this alkene from its IUPAC name if we are given the IUPAC name of any organic compound here we are taking a particular case of alkane then by using certain points by using certain rules we can easily draw the correct structural formula of that compound how we will be doing that let's start for this specific compound if a UFAC name is given to us for a certain compound, for example this, we will first of all come here to the last point, the last name, which is nonane. This nonane represent that this compound has a parent name nonane which means the longest continuous chain has 9 carbon atoms. So first of all we will draw 9 carbon chain. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. So first of all we will draw the parent chain in the form of longest continuous chain and from where we will take the length of the chain from the parent name. In this particular case it is no name. Next what we will do next number the chain starting from any side you can start numbering from right you can start numbering from left so give these carbons numbering so this is carbon number one this is two three four five six seven eight and nine now next Put the substituents on each carbon whose number is shown here for example here tertiary butyl is the first substituent in alphabetic order which is situated on carbon number 6. So this is carbon number 6 on carbon number 6 put the tertiary butyl substituent. So I will put it here. You can put the substituent above the chain or you can put the substituent below the chain it does not uh, matter okay. Our next substituent is ethyl which is present on carbon number 5th. So this is carbon number 5th. You can put ethyl group on this carbon. So I will put CH2, CH3. This is ethyl group. Again, you can put it either above the chain or below the chain. Doesn't matter. Next we have 3 methyl, triamethyl, we have 3 methyl groups. Where are they located? 2 are on position 3 on carbon number 3. So I will put one methyl here, the other methyl here. So three, three and next the carbon number four contains another methyl. So we have total of three methyl, two are located on carbon number three and the next one is located on carbon number four. And next and the last one we have propyl group which is located on carbon number four. So put here propyl. CH2, CH2, CH3. Remember, if you are given simple propyl name in the form of substituent, it means in propyl group. So we have put all the substituent on their proper positions on the longest continuous chain. Okay. What next? Next, wherever the carbon tetravalency is not complete, complete it by using hydrogen. For example, here the carbon one bond is shown with another carbon so it means this carbon is bonded with three other hydrogens here carbon forms two bonds it means carbon is bonded with two other hydrogen here the fourth bond of carbon is completed so no hydrogen is present no hydrogen is present here the carbon three bonds are shown it means one hydrogen is here three bonds are shown it means one hydrogen is here two bonds are shown it means two hydrogens are present present two bonds are shown which means two hydrogens are present and one bond is shown which means three hydrogen atoms are present so this is the correct structural formula of this alkane whose IUPAC name was given. So by using these tips you can easily draw the correct structural formula for any compound. If you have any question you can ask your question in comments. Thank you for watching this video.